Uh oh. I just heard Charity scream. I do have some things I want to show you right here. Well, this is molded. There's a hole in the basement compartment. I'm really going to make a lot of things a lot easier when it comes to basement compartment storage. God bless her heart. I love this woman. <laughs> but what happens when those bins go through an earthquake? I think Charity's going to be pretty pleased with what I did. You guys know I have this like affinity, this thing for organization that just makes my heart happy. Maybe some call it OCD. I don't know. Whatever. Good bad or indifferent, there is one spot of the RV where our organization has been sorely neglected. And I'm really scared because with this, I've decided I'm gonna actually put Ben in charge of this project. And that is to organize these basement compartments. And he's come up with this grand plan. He's taken measurements. He's ordered in a bunch of stuff. I fly to the moon. I shrink the moon, I grab the moon, I sit on the toilet with what? The stuff that came, I don't know how this is gonna work. Like I have serious doubts. I think that this project's gonna be a fail. You, you're wonderful when it comes to soft-sided yeah, bins on the inside. Let me know in the comments how wonderful I am. <laughs> making use of space and you know, all the stuff on the inside. Here's why I'm putting Ben in charge of this one. He needs to know where it is. He needs to be able to find it. Here's the thing though, guys think in categories. Men's brains are made up of little boxes and we have a box for everything. And that's kind of how we need to have things set up so we know when we go to find something, it's gonna be in that category. Women's brains are made up of a big ball of wire. <laughs> and everything is connected. First things first, we're gonna have to clean everything out. Ben's gonna show you what he thinks is gonna work, but let's do a quick little before. Yeah. Okay. So that we have a before and after to compare this with. Yes. And I'm really excited to show you what kind of bins I got that's gonna I have my doubts. allow for the best storage available for a basement compartment in an RV. Now here's the deal. I, I mean, I hope that this goes according to plan because this would be really cool and it will make for a really cool video, but it might make for a really bad video if this fails. You're just gonna have to watch. All right, so you can see we had a lot of work to do. And of course, in typical Grateful Glamper style, not a lot of time to do it in. So the question becomes, do we take out all the stuff on both sides at the same time or just do one side at a time? Like I was thinking originally, okay, let's just do one side at a time. But here's where I think, no, we just need to pull it all out. Yeah. Like everything needs to come out because what if we decide like in configuring things or what if we end up like deciding there's just something we don't need to carry with us anymore? Cause right. RV life's changed a lot in the last five years as far as like our style. There's so much that I feel like maybe we don't need everything that we have that needs to come with us. And I think that's something to consider too. Like if you're considering going full time is to really think about, okay, what can you maybe throw into storage or wherever that you're gonna be able to store some things. Yeah. Like what really needs to come and then stick with those basic things. It makes more sense to store this here because no. we don't access it as often. So it can kind of be shoved to the back. Yeah. Everything's out. We know, okay, this is what we have to deal with. Right. right. So we decided everything comes out. All right, let's All do it. All the sides. Hey, Alaska, what are you doing? Just laying here. What are you doing, Doggins? Just laying down. You just hanging out under the RV? Yes. Oh, good. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna supervise? Yes, I'll supervise. All right, I'll give you bacon later. Bacon? You want some bacon? Yes, I love bacon. Well, I'm gonna talk about a few tips, you know, that when it comes to organization in the basement compartment. So the one thing is you wanna keep weight distribution in mind. So you wanna have an even load from left side to right side of the RV, right? And then categorization. You always wanna categorize things into kind of bins and buckets and Whatever helps you know where things are. Yeah, and if you can do clear, clear is better because then 
right at first glance you can see what's in it and then open front on those items that you need to access often so. <laughs> although the open front where i think is great for like a garage or something i think that we still have to prove this theory out in an rv yeah no it'll it'll be fine it will trust me <laughs> so what's going on well this is molded Oh, and it's dripping wet. So this is gonna have to be pitched. What is, I don't even know what's in here. I think there's uh, ties, like oh. all the- Like tie down straps. Tie down straps, yep. Like a, oh, there's the rest of my mom's ashes. Oh, we do still have some of we your mom. a few. And it's a good thing she's in a plastic bag. Yes. Well, she's not in Skidaway. <sighs> Boy. That escalated quickly. That's a whole other story. We'll put that right up here if you are interested. But anyway. And then we have to figure out what's causing that leak. It's yeah. obviously coming down from the, probably the slide. I don't know. Well. Hard to tell. Yeah, we're going to have to take a look at that because I don't think that this is open to that. But maybe, I mean, this is a 20 year old RV. Maybe the seals. So we'll just we'll have to yeah. inspect further, but let's keep yep. getting stuff out. So I figured out where the leaking is coming from. So right over here where our slide is, you can see the water comes down here and this is actually not sealed. Underneath here, you can see it's leaking through there and then getting all over, dripping down into here. That's where the problem lies. So the next thing you're going to want to do, and which I already did, was measure the current setup. So you want to know, okay, what's the height, the depth, the width that I have? Well, you have with. to remember a lot of RVs are different, right. and that does come into play to know what the spaces that you have to work with. You know RV manufacturers aren't consistent, right? You know, there's certain compartments that we have that are higher than others and wider and deeper. You know? Well, I feel like they're getting better too. Cause like even at the show we saw where like some manufacturers like say Winnebago, for example, is getting better about like, if there's a, if there's a gap, like making sure that it, there's access right. so that you can use that for like storage, even if it's a small space. Yeah. We've got two life jackets in here that are rated 50 to 90 pounds. I don't think we've had a kid under 90 pounds for the last couple of years. So, I double checked, we now have four adult size life jackets to go with the paddle boards. So those will go with those. And then I will probably just put these in the buy nothing group. Here's a little note. If you are not full time or if you are going to be maybe stationary in a specific geographical area, like lots of families come down to like central Florida for the winter. The Buy Nothing groups on Facebook, which is part of the Buy Nothing project, can be a huge resource for really just kind of a whole like exchange of things amongst families. So we've actually gotten a lot of things from the Buy Nothing groups and then we like to contribute back. And here all the sword. And it is dirty. We've got all the stuff out from the basement compartment. So now it's a, a matter of like figuring out categories. Remember, this is where I handed it off to you and mm -hmm. I said, this is your baby run with it. All right. Well, I've ordered in some things that we is going to make this process a lot better. So I got some stackable bins. Now I know you wanted to go with the crates to stack on top of each other. Good idea for the most part, but they weren't clear one. And two, they didn't have the front open to where you could just that's grab my, stuff. That's my concern, is that if the front's open on a travel day, it's gonna all fall out. For like WD-40 and silicone spray and all that stuff, you want it to be kind of open so you could just grab it it's as you need it. It's gonna fall out on a travel day. I don't think so. We'll have to find out. Next episode. Shakedown. We'll know. So make sure that you're subscribed because... <laughs> we'll find out what it looks like. Yeah, I know. Okay, so Anyways. where... Where are all the bins and, and Let me show this you. is the part where it feels overwhelming is when I look at all of the stuff. And then the next thing is to really just maximize space, right? Charities taught everybody that in on the inside and that goes for the outside too. You always want to maximize your height as well because the problem we had with this basement compartment setup is everything was on one level. So there was literally three quarters of room left height wise so it wasn't maximizing that space but i think the biggest thing too to remember and if we 
It's like if, if you don't hear anything else that we say, hear this. You absolutely need to make sure that you are not overloading your rig. Right. Take it to a cat scale, weigh it, do that a couple of times a year, know how much that you have to work with. And if you are at capacity, you need to offload some stuff. Yep. It's so important. That's why the KonMari method's good, because you pull everything out, get rid of what you don't need, get rid of the duplicates, you know, that way you can just start fresh. Uh-oh. I just heard Charity scream. What's going on? Did you know that this was, that this happened? What? There's a hole in the basement compartment. Oh! Dude, look. You can, like, see the ground. Oh my gosh. Hey. Holy cow, what is that? <laughs> Oh, that's a piece. Oh. Hey. So it went that was back. stuck yeah. in the RV? That was stuck. Dang. So there's the damage. It was like embedded in that. And then there's a big gash back there. Oh, that's where that, that metal piece came out. But we had the mats. Oh, look at the mat. Got a hole <gasps> in it. That's crazy. Did you know that that was there? You know, I knew there was a hole up through the bottom somewhere, but... I didn't realize it was that bad. And I didn't realize it came through the basement compartment. We're gonna have to figure out some sort of fix. Yeah. Okay, so before we move on to the next step, we've got to clean up the basement compartments a little bit. And I've got just the tool that's gonna do the job. Slick. With the leaf blower might have gotten the just the heavy stuff like I went to go start wiping this out and Anyway, we need a vacuum because there's a bunch of stuff that I didn't get because I feel like first things first We got to figure out to get this hole repaired before we could put anything in this compartment now. All right yeah. All right, Alaska what do you think, bud? As long as there's room for dog food and bacon. Yeah. I hear you. Hey, come back here. Hey, you can't walk away from this. I need a nap. Yeah, I wish I could do that. I feel like laying down too. This is overwhelming. Now we would not have the energy to tackle projects like organizing the RV if we did not get a good night's sleep. And the one thing we learned very early on in RV life is that the mattresses that come from the factory in an RV will they're just not very conducive to a good night's rest. And that is why we switched out our standard RV mattress for an Aurora Lux hybrid mattress from our friends at rvmattress.com, which is the sponsor of this video. Now, having a new mattress from RV Mattress has been fantastic for a good night's rest. Plus, we've also recently added the day beds for the kids, and we use the Dream Foam Essential mattresses as well. They are super comfortable as both a seating space and a sleeping space. Now, their wide range of sizes make finding the perfect fit for any RV an easy task. And what's more is their mattresses arrive rolled and boxed simplifying the delivery and setup in RVs because it's super easy to get in and out of the door of an RV. Plus shipping is free and quick from their factory in Arizona. RV Mattress is part of Brooklyn Bedding, which offers a comprehensive range of bedding solutions for both homes and RVs. And with a 10 year warranty on their mattresses, our bedding needs are set for years to come. Now, if you are seeing this before the end of February, you can take advantage of the President's Day sale that's going on right now. Visit rvmattress.com forward slash grateful to save 25% off with the code grateful or 30% off during this month's sale. And a huge thanks to RV Mattress for their continued support of our channel. Ensure you put the things you know on the side that you're going to access them the most. So, right, so like the sewer hoses and stuff, of course, is gonna go over by the water hookups. And uh, you know, the, yeah, that stuff. It's so. just where it makes the most sense. Different RVs have different setups. Some RVs have like the sewer hose will go like in a bumper kind of area. So yeah. just think about strategic placement as far as where are you going to need to access it and how often are you going to access it? Right. And you want to put the less important items, you know, more towards the back and the frequently asked 
you know, access items more towards the front. <laughs> I almost thought you were going to say frequently asked questions. <laughs> <sighs> so now to show you the bins that we have for organization. So these are amazing. They're, they're heavy duty Acro Mills stack in store bins. They are clear and they have the front that's accessible. Yeah. So like, here's the deal. You know, I love me some bins. So I'm excited about the bins. I just am hoping that the measurements that you took, I mean, I just want to see them in action. I actually wrote to the company and said, hey, here's my basement compartment sizes and, you know, this is what I need. And they uh, sent me the bins that I needed. And these are available on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below uh, where you can get these particular ones. I like the red yes. ones. So these are nice because they stack also, like all these bins stack. And then we also have these cobalt ones. So this is what Charity wanted to do. and. God bless her heart. I love this woman. <laughs> bless They're your heart quick. is Southern for you dumb. All of yeah. this is great in theory, stacking yeah. bins and everything else. But what happens when those bins go through an earthquake? Are yeah. they going to stay stacked? Is stuff going to fall out of the front? That's where I feel like this is all great in theory. We're going to get it set up. But then at some point, yeah. the rubber's got to meet the road. And is it going to stand the test of time? Yeah. And obviously, these heavy-duty cobalt crates they would probably stand the test of time. Because earthquake these and it's like, yeah. they're not going anywhere. The I mean, only, just, I don't know. Like, they're heavy duty. We're going to find out. So, but let's. The problem I had with these is that you can't see what's inside. So you stack you know, them up. That's why you use labels. Anyway, yeah. let me know. Are you team clear or team whatever works? Let us know in the comments. I do have some things I want to show you right here that I got that are really going to make uh, a lot of things a lot easier when it comes to basement compartment storage. So stick around and I'll show you what these are. I'm excited about those. Okay, we got to go fix the hole first because right. we can't put anything away till that hole's fixed. So. All right, let's do it. Fix it. Gorilla tape, turn -a bond tape. So this is RV 101. You always want to have a roll of Eternabond tape and Gorilla tape with you because it comes in handy for these kind of things. It'll get you out of a bind. So we're gonna just cover this up with. I feel like that clip of Adam Sandler in in that movie. Kind of feel like this is what we're doing, but hey, it works. So let's go ahead and. There we go. Okay, good as new. So the first thing I want to do is just get the bins in place. This is going to be a perfect configuration because I can pull these out as needed really easily. This, I don't need to pull in and out because guess what? It's open in the front. So you can easily grab your restore it or your clear it or anything and then you can stand them upright. One of these bins will go in here and then I'm going to put the, all the, oh, I need to put new shocks on this one. All the stuff related to the tow vehicle will go in there. And then like I've got little things like this grease, white lithium grease that'll go in here. One thing we're going to do is just put in kind of the big rocks first, right? We know the chairs are going to be going underneath there because we don't have a lot of room height wise. So. All the chairs will fit under there. I've got toolbox, the table, and the big mat, because this is where the mat's gonna lay. We've got all of these in their home. These stackable crates are good for items like this. And this is a actually a hose cord caddy by Stromberg Strong. And I love these because you can wrap your extension cords or hoses right up in here and there the bottom you know there's nothing there to to where they will drain still and they keep nice and organized and rolled up and that's great because the biggest problem is if you put these in a bin then you're going to have some stinky problems of all the water pooling up so you want to make sure the bottom has holes in it so it can drain out. 
now I've got that and I can, you know, stack them up if I want. I can put my extra hose in there. Get yourself some of these quick connects for these hoses. Man, I love these things. These are actually by uh, the Gorilla Quick Connects. And then it, they also have this uh, Quick Connect hose shut off. So if you wanna go ahead and shut off your water when you leave for the day, you can just shut that off right at the hose. I am ready to show you guys how I organized this RV basement compartments. And I think Charity's gonna be pretty pleased with what I did. So let's first start out on the right side of the RV, then I'll take you over to the left side of the RV. Back here, pretty simple setup. I put the Acromill bin in here, just one. Didn't have enough room to stack it. This is all my tow stuff. And the next one here, we've got the Blackstone. I've got the propane fire pit, Starlink, some marshmallow roasting sticks, the fire extinguisher, and then my flagpole buddy. And I do have two bins that are smaller bins that I can pull out. They're not clear, but they work. And in the top one is going to be all my Blackstone stuff. So anything I want to take with me to the grill, I can just grab it and go. Important stuff's on the top. Stuff I don't use very often is on the bottom. So this is all of the automotive stuff. Any caulk, extra filters, some belts, fuses for the solar system. Stuff I don't access very often, put back down here at the bottom and it fits in there very nicely. So let's move on to the next bins. So in here, I've been able to make use of this space. Over here, we've got the Acro Mills bins that were a little bit narrower. I put my sprays, extension cords in here and we've labeled everything. So just at a glance, we can tell what is in each bin. These crate bins actually did work out pretty well. What we do is just put like any extra items that we don't access very often. That's kind of like a, like a backup on the bottom. And then I don't have use for this yet, but I'm sure I will find use for it. And it just goes right in there. So I just absolutely love how we made use of this space. As you can see, this compartment is awkward when the slide is out. So I really put the things that I'm barely going to access. Here is where we stacked these Acro Mills bins with the open fronts. I can just open this up, grab what I need out of here without having to pull out the actual bins. So here I've got my, you know, rivet tool. I've got some jobs that I have to do and then zip ties and then down here the stuff that I don't access often which is the portable air compressor and a battery charger. So over here I've been able to sort of Tetris these bins in to allow you to really access everything that you need. And so there's one, two, three, four in this area. We've actually got so much organization now that I haven't even been able to make use of all of these bins yet. All the chairs we put underneath here. So we access them quite a bit. So then we pull this out. Now we've been able to just remove all the items we didn't need. So now we can just easily grab whatever we need out of here, like this portable bucket. So I have an extra pool noodle here. I use them for the windshield wipers. Every RVer can use these. So there's always a use. So I keep one extra to have on hand. I have a bungee here just so I can grab it and use it. And then here is where I keep like just all the tools. So again, I've been able to stack these bins here to where I can just reach in and grab what I need without having to pull, you know, bins out, open the lids, grab what I need, put them back in. Everything is just easily accessible right here. I have to say I had my doubts but Ben did a most excellent job. So I'm gonna show you real fast on this side, the amazingness 
that he did. In this compartment, we didn't change a lot just because we've got bigger outdoor kind of toys and stuff like that in here. That stayed the same, but we got everything cleaned out and we got that whole fix that was there that we didn't know was there. We've got these other two bins that I suggested that Ben picked up from Lowe's. And so we do have some labels on the front that say what's in them so that you can see at a glance what's there. The nice thing about using something like this that's stacking, which I will have to give props to Ben for his idea on making use of the space as we don't have a lot of dead space up here. And then of course we can put things that maybe we're not going to use on the daily or on the weekly in these lower compartments and then put labels on these, even though they're clear and you can see through them, it just kind of helps you see at a glance what's there. And then we've got our hoses in these hose reels. This is definitely way more organized than what it was. And we still have some space, which having extra kind of dead space, it's not a bad thing. And actually, I know for me, it feels like you have a little bit of breathing room when you have a little bit of extra space. Plus, if for some reason you end up with, say, maybe like one of those portable gazebos or something, you got a little bit of extra room. These are the smaller stacking bins. So these come in a lot of different sizes. And that's the beautiful thing about these is that these can really fit almost any type of RV space because you just need to take measurements and see what's going to work in your space. This is kind of like stuff to do with the sewer system, but not like the dirty, dirty stuff. So like some of the hoses for the gray tank, some unused sewer hose parts, highly recommend carrying spares of those. In this compartment, this is much better than what we had going on. We've got our new Wastemaster hose set up, which if you haven't really seen this, we do talk a little bit about it in a video I'll put right up here for you. And that is pretty much it. So I am pretty proud of my hubby and his organizational prowess. I would say that he's just learned from the best. <laughs> so how many? times if you said trust me and it didn't go well well there have been there was that one time that it Dakota was like I'm feeling nauseous I'm like, so how does you eat a whole full of pan of cinnamon rolls yes <laughs> that is true that and oatmeal raisin cookies yes ooh yum whoa really you like oatmeal raisin no I don't actually <laughs> okay next thing is you're gonna that blah wanna have a seat so I'm gonna put a whole playlist right up here with more organization for the inside of your RV. And if we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll catch you in the next video. You need a bath. You need a bath. You can go see your friend, Destiny, the groomer. Who he groomed? See Destiny? <laughs>